Welcome back, everybody. Well, you know, as the song goes, it's the most wonderful time of the year. We have Bah Humbug, unless you're feeling like Scrooge. Uh, Joan Rabilio knew something was terribly wrong, but doctors couldn't tell her what it was until she met Dr. Stephen Hotze from the Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Please welcome them to the show. Thank you. Hello there. Okay, this is a story that you hear over and over and over again. So you remember even uh, growing up your grandmother right. dealing with some of the same symptoms that you ended up having. Right. What are some of those symptoms? Uh, migraines. It started with migraines. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of degraded and went into general overall poor health. Um, of course, taking the migraine medication and lots and lots of Advil and things like that. It's basically uh, covering up what the real cause was. Exactly. And, so it and it also you. wreaks havoc on your digestive system. Yeah. So um, it started out in high school with migraines. I had my last child in 1987. And after I had her, it just one thing after another. It seemed like it was just mounting and mounting. The mood swings. Um, the exhaustion. Exhaustion was yeah. awful. Yeah. The exhaustion was awful. I had the, the same The migraines thing. Yeah. were worse. Um, in about 1995, I started seeing a neurologist for the migraines. It just put me on an interesting cocktail of the various migraine medications. Which and had their side effects. Had their side effects. Um, and I had some interesting side effects. I became really hypersensitive. My skin was hypersensitive. So, um, you know, even just warm water hurt. Yeah. Which in, in, was really in some sense, you could say, I, I could tell you, I, I, I don't think I'd be uh, exaggerating to say I felt like I was slowly dying. That's it. Yeah. That, that was exactly that. Yeah, that was I, exactly it. And, and then, of course, with that comes what feels like depression. But I like to say mm -hmm. that, um, you know, you would go to the doctor and they would try to prescribe antidepressants for you because certainly you're depressed, right? Again, and not I getting was to the real root Exactly, of why. exactly. Yeah. And I was depressed, but I was depressed because I felt bad. Yeah. I didn't feel bad because I was depressed. Um, so, Dr. Hotze, again, all these types of symptoms, when someone comes into you and says, I'm exhausted, I have these migraines, I have this, 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 immediately you're thinking, let's start with checking your hormones. Exactly. And this is a very common presentation right. of all the women we see, whether they come in in their teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, it doesn't just happen. It didn't happen with you it, to change your life. It happened. It started when you were a teenager right. and got worse. Then you had your child and it got worse. And then you, with these host of symptoms, you end up seeing your physician or multiple physicians. A host of physicians. Yeah. Phys <laughs> we we have a physician physicians? for each cause. Probably, you know? right. I saw a gastrointestinal doctor. I saw a, an allergist. I saw a neurologist. I saw a cardiologist. He, and then my general GP, so five or six different doctors. And oftentimes for suggest every that you see a psychiatrist. Exactly, exactly. Or just, you know, if you don't really want to go see a psychiatrist, just take these antidepressants. And so, so and this is what's common, and this is why at our center we're leading a wellness revolution that I'm tired of the way women are treated by doctors Absolutely. in midlife. They're Absolutely. treated like they're hypochondriacs and neurotics and hysterics. Right. And I'll, I'll guarantee you a third of the women in the audience today are on antidepressants. The doctors convince them and buffalo them into thinking they exactly. need to be on. And they do this and it destroys their lives, destroys their marriages. But, but that's not to say that they aren't truly depressed because the hormones are out of whack. Well, exactly. that's, well, when the hormones... But we, you fix the problem as opposed to address the You fix the underlying problem, you, that's exactly... Well, the, uh, antidepressants never fix the problem if it's a hormonal problem. Mm -hmm. it, never, it just makes things worse. Oh. So what you want to do is replenish the hormones. If the cup is empty, fill it back up. When the hormones go down, replenish them, whether it's thyroid right. or the female sex hormones or the adrenal hormones. And, and, get and what was her issue? What was she dealing with? probably since she was well, a teenager. Well, first it was the uh, abnormal imbalance of her female hormones, which right. adversely affects her thyroid. Mm -hmm. So she was, when she came in and saw Dr. Sheridan, you were placed on some thyroid, right. desiccated thyroid medication, natural thyroid, uh, some progesterone, probably some bias, and a little bit of cortisol, exactly. got you mm -hmm. on a some good, DHEA. Yeah, mm -hmm. and some DHEA, mm -hmm. and a good vitamin and mineral supplementation right. program. And so what happened? Now, you came in how person. long ago? In 2009. 2009. It's life changing. It's life changing. Yeah, and life changing within right? less than 30 days, I felt like a new person. Yeah, yeah. And I got to tell you, the very first day I took thyroid, the oh very first day I went, I'm back. It, absolutely, absolutely. It is that I mean, if I could sell this stuff on the street corner, I, I would. I'm telling you. <laughs> we'll be on the soapbox and say, yeah, get your hormones checked. Feeling crazy? Get your and hormones this, checked. And this is what really drives me crazy is that how many 
other million of women were out right. there like Joan right. that have been buffaloed into thinking it's all in their head. Right. And yeah. that's just wrong. And, and, and what I would get from the doctors is either you're depressed or I have no idea what is wrong with Yeah, you. yeah. And so the key is too, Dr. Hotze, that uh, there seems to be kind of two thoughts in medicine. And I don't want to be speaking out of turn because I'm obviously not a doctor, but th sometimes I see... You're smarter than a lot of doctors. <laughs> <people. laughs> well, sometimes I see where people go, what is your symptom again? Well, I'm going to give you this to get rid of that symptom. And to me, it just doesn't make sense because I was told, you know, they wanted to, there are five symptoms of mine that they were going to address through medication. And I kept asking, and I didn't want to be rude. I kept going, but why is it happening? Well, I'm just going to give you that you're old. Right. <laughs> Some one guy jokingly said you're old and had a baby. That's why it's happening. And so, um, but the other, other side of medicine looks at, you're like an investigator, if you will, and you're kind right. of a de detective. And you say, i got to find out What's why it's happening, remove that, and everything else goes right. away. All right, you can reach the Hotze Health and Wellness Center at 281-698-8698, 281-698-8698, and on the web at HotzeHWC.com. Dr. Hotze also has a radio program, Health and Wellness Solutions, weekdays from noon to 1 p.m. on 700 a.m. He's also the author of the book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness, available on Amazon. That answers so many of, of your questions. And everyone in the audience, by the way, is going home with the copy. So if you're not feeling right, that answer is going to be in that book. We'll be right back.